Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today again we talk about Keep Alive and two features track script and track interface. In the previous video uh, we have configured, we have installed Keep Alive and we have configured uh, Keep Alive in very basic mode here uh, was our configuration. I have corrected some items and uh, did some optimization. First of all, I used two server here instead of three because anyway, the configuration are the same. So uh, even if it is three configurations, it should be easily to match and use the same uh, concepts there. So let's assume that we have two servers. Both of them are using uh, Red Rocky Linux 8. The host names are RL801 and RL802 with the IP address of 0201 and 0202. And our VIP address is 192.168.0.200. So uh, this is what we have configured in the previous uh, video. And the, what we achieved was that if we reboot the server one, it will uh, automatically, the VIP address will go to the um, backup server, to the RL802. Let's go through the configurations very quickly. Uh, we defined the states. So one of them was the master, one of them was the backup. We specified which interface we want these VRP packets to be sent from. And the virtual rotor ID that should be the same on the both instances. The priority that uh, one of them, the backup should be, uh, has, should has lower priority and it's better to have a gap of 50. This is what I learned from one of my uh, YouTube followers in the previous video. You can check the comments there. And uh, of course, if you use 101 and 100 like the previous two, it will work. But this is the uh, this is the best practice. So uh, keep a gap of 50 between them. Advertisement interval is the interval that these two servers sync together. The unicast uh, IP address and peer it will mention where we should send this. Uh, VRP packets too. So the first one sends to the second one and the second one sends to the first one. Of course, it can use multicast as well, but uh, I still prefer the unicast. I think it's more secure. The authentication uh, method that here we are using uh, at the password method and it's very basic authentication. And here's the password and also the virtual IP address that we have uh, assigned to our instances. And what we'll achieve by this basic configuration is that if we restart server one, if for any reason the server one uh, goes down, the IP address will be on the second server. But this is not really what we want. What we will discuss today is, is how to uh, make this setup more sensitive to the services and to the network. So. Uh, in my systems, I have installed Camellio. So this is the, uh, these are the SIP servers that are answering the uh, SIP packets. And of course, if the Camellio is stopped, this server really won't work for me because uh, what's the usage of uh, running a server without serving its purpose? It can be any service. For example, Im imagine you have a web server or imagine you have a database server. If the, for example, the MySQL services stop, or if the Apache services stop, or if your Nginx services stopped, then also the server is on, it's not serving its purpose. So we want to make this keep alive a script uh, sensitive to our service. How do we do that? In order to do that, uh, we need to uh, first, uh, we can use uh, some feature, we call it uh, check a script or track a script, track a script. Uh, before we, so what is the uh, main usage and how do we use this track script is by running a, a script that checks our service. R the first step to do this configuration is to enable the security, a script security. Why? Because in the Keep Alive Day when we want to uh, check, for example, if our Camellio is running or not, uh, we need to run a script, and this script by default can uh, uh, by default need a user, and this user name is keep alive underline script. Of course, you can even set to uh, use the root user to run the script, but it's better to uh, have the script running as non-root user. So the first step is to add a user 
keep alive underline script this is the default user that the keep alive is using for uh, running is a script then we need to uh, write our script here I used uh, the default PID of a script what it will do for example uh, so first I defined my VRP script Camelio check script it's just a, it's just a name you can put any name here this is the script that I can run this script can be any script it can be a shell script for example that uh, checks the status of your service or even query to the database here I used a very simple version of PID of and this script will check is if my Camelio is running or not how uh, often it checks every five seconds and in which situation it will fail over if it fails once then it will switch over to the secondary server to my uh, backup server and in which situation it will uh, come back it will take the control again if two checks uh, give me the pass of course the default values are three and six but this is how uh, I have configured my S script to switch over to the backup server and uh, in the config we need to tell that okay this VRP in a sense internal should track this Camelio check script the check script that checks if the Camelio service is running or not and if it is running so okay nothing will happen but if it is not running then the server will go to default state and it will switch to the backup or any other server that is ready and is in the backup mode that's how we make our keep alive sensitive actually to any service of course this script can be any script that you can check uh, any service that you want so here i use pid of but you can use any other script let's test let's test this script and let's see how it works in action Okay, I have connected to my both servers, the master server and also the backup server. And how can we identify that if you just run APVADR and then I just filter to my IP address. Uh, you can see the VIP or 200 is set on the first server. Let's run the same comment on the second server and you can see it doesn't have any VIP address. So here uh, the first server is my master server right now let's run the journal ctl-f to run the to see the logs journal ctl-f this is for rocky linux 8 and uh, let's have some enter here and let's uh, stop the camelio service system ctl uh, stop camelio and let's check the logs it detects the log. Pay attention, it takes some time to switch uh, to the second one. Why? Because we set the track script to five seconds. Now you can see the Camelio returning one. The server entered the fault state. It's very important. This states because uh, then in the later stages, do the troubleshooting, you should know what are the different stages. So the server entered to the fault state and it, uh, the backup server receives priority of zero and it goes to the master state and then it set the VIPs. So if I run the same command here right now, you can see the VIP is set on the backup server and it's not in the master server anymore. So this is how we make the keep life this sensitive to our service. So we have used track script to check our Camelio service and if it is down, switch over to the backup. Another feature that we can use is track interface and we can track an interface if it is, and the state of an interface if it is up and down and switch over in case the interface is down. It can track any interface. Imagine you have a Linux box with two network interfaces that serves the private and public network and you want to uh, track both of them. So you can uh, make your uh, keep live this sensitive to a network interface because here I don't have a, a physical network interface and also I want to use this 
and dummy zero network interface in the later video i i'm tracking this dummy interface so i created a dummy interface in my linux box and then i'm tracking uh, this dummy interface in my keep alive so if i uh, make my uh, dummy interface down it will switch to the backup server let's see how it works so here i connected to my uh, master server you can see that the vip is set on my master server and also i have a dummy network interface uh, with this ip address and let's enable the log journal ctl f on both systems journal ctl f so that we can see what's happening and let's make our uh, dummy network interface down if config dummy zero down and you can see as we are uh, we are turning off the dummy network interface it goes to the faulty state because now we are tracking this network interface and the backup server will receive the advertisement and it will go to the master so if i run the same uh, command here you can see now the rl802 uh, has the vip address and the first server already lost his uh, VIP address. This is how we are uh, making Keep Alive this sensitive to our uh, network interfaces. Thank you for watching this video. I want to mention that all the configuration files that you uh, saw in this video are in my GitHub and the link is in the description of the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.